Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can FTP to your Xbox 360. Now you can either do this wireless or wired. I'm doing it wired because it's faster to transfer that way. You get faster speeds, but if you really want something over in a hurry, I recommend putting things on your external hard drive. But if you want to FTP to the internal, this is one way to do it at least. Uh, what you want to do is enable your FTP if it's not on. Pr press start, go to modules, and go to FTP server. Press A on it. Make sure this is enabled. Uh, port 21. Now this is your username and password. Xbox FTP, passwords Xbox FTP. Alright, and then to find your IP address, press back button, and it's right right there. If it's not reboot your Xbox, turn it off, turn it back on, wait until it boots up, and then check this again. It should show your IP. Then all you do is you go on your computer. Now I'm going to use FlashFXP because I've been using it since the original Xbox, so <laughs> I like to use it over fire, uh, FileZilla. So bring up FlashFXP, go to the two computers, Go to Quick Connect and type the IP address you saw on that page. 18. All right. Keep the port number the same. Don't worry about this anonymous uh, thing being checkmarked. It'll change as soon as you put in a um, username and password. Xbox FTP. Xbox FTP. And hit Connect. And then you'll see your... Uh, system. This is your external hard drive. This is your internal hard drive. This is where the original Xbox uh, compatibility list is. This is just system stuff <laughs> for Aurora and different things. Uh, game is where Aurora is. It's kind of like the D drive on uh, original Xbox. <laughs> but hard drive one is where you want it. And this is my setup. You can put everything under games if you want or you know, whatever you want to do. <laughs> Everything's easy to set up. You just transfer it over and set it up in Aurora, but that's how you uh connect FTP. Um if you want to transfer something over I'll show you that in a sec. <laughs> um, I'm going to make a folder just for the heck of it. Pretend there's files in there, right? <laughs> right click it and hit transfer selected. All right, and there it is. Now, if you want it to show it up, want it to show up on Aurora dashboard, that'll be in another tutorial. I know there's nothing in it, so whatever, but <laughs> you get the idea. Your stuff will be here, and then you just link it in uh, Aurora, and it'll show up the game on your internal. And you can have your games uh, in any folder and just have Aurora scan it. So, all right, I'm going to right click this and delete because I don't want an empty folder. <laughs> but that's it for the tutorial. Hopefully that helped. Uh, if you don't have a module for FTP, I don't know how to get it. I'm sorry about that. But things were set up kind of already for me, so I just had to make sure my system was connect to the network uh, by going to system settings and network. Made sure it was wired, and then uh, I was able to connect. Now, like I said, FTP isn't the quickest way. You could put it on the external hard drive and have it scan that, or you can hook the external hard drive up to the 360, use the file manager in the Aurora dashboard or wherever, and FT or transfer the files from one place to the other. It's up to you. There's also Xbox Neighborhood app you could use, but I, I think that's way too slow and a lot of setup for nothing. <laughs> I prefer this because it you can see like the transfer speed and all that 
Whereas neighborhood, it, it it's just annoying. <laughs> but anyways, I hope that helped you. And uh, I'm sorry if uh, you don't have the modules because I don't, I don't know how to set that up. <laughs> but I hope that helped, and I'll see you next time. Peace.